Yay, this is it, everybody. This is my favorite planner launch all year long. This is the Erin Condren Life Planner Launch, and I'm so, so honored to have another sneak peek look at it for you this year. So I have the Evolve design, which I have to tell you is giving me layers vibes. Layers was the design from several years back that was my favorite all-time Erin Condren design, and I think this is going to beat it, and I didn't think we would ever beat it. I'm in love. So this is the Evolve design from, again, Etta V, who designed last year's design as well, or the one that's been going throughout this year. You're going to love it. They sent me tons of great goodies to look at. This is going to be so much fun. So let's dive in to the brand new Life Planner Evolve design with their brand new layout, Compact Vertical. Okay, I have all the details for you. If you are brand new to this channel, my name is Sarah. This is the Heart Breathings channel. I am an author, an entrepreneur, YouTuber, mom, all of those things, and I'm obsessed about planners and productivity. So if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we have lots of fun here and we talk about planners and notebooks all the time. And one of the things that I love in my planner is color. So there are multiple options again this year with the Erin Condren design. So you have the canvas design, which is again, their brand new true neutral design. They just started that design last year. Then you've got their typical floral design that's called Bold Blooms. And I have to say it was very tempting to get the blooms this year because it's really, really pretty. But the second I saw the Evolve, I knew this is the one that I had to have because I love color. And this stays true to the Erin Condren color palette that we all have come to know and love, the traditional color. But look at how saturated and like I love the fact that this quote page says celebrate the movement of life and all of its perfectly imperfect moments because this design has movement. It's like it's almost like water and geodes and you can see the texture of her painting and everything in it. And it just has that movement to it. And so I love that they put this quote on here and the colors are just truly vibrant and stunning. And I could not pass it up. I also have for you the first look at the compact vertical design for the seven by nine. Now, if you've gotten the A5s or the A5 agenda, you've seen the compact vertical layout in those smaller sizes, but now they're bringing it to the seven by nine, which I had to grab it. I love their typical vertical. I also love the horizontal layout, but I have a specific way that I think I'm gonna use this. So if you are a checklist person, I think you're gonna really love this. Plus I think this is gonna be a really flexible layout. So. I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to show you everything. I cannot wait. We have lots of goodies to look at. So grab your favorite beverage, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and come hang out with me for a little while as we take a look at all of the brand new Evolve Erin Condren launch items. First things first, before I take everything out of the plastic, I want to show you what the packaging looks like because their packaging is always so good. And I'll tell you what we're going to go over today. So we have an Evolve Productivity Petite Journal. We have the brand new monthly planner for the 18 months from July to December 2025. We also have, of course, the little planny packs that we uh, can put your accessories and things into. Look at the colors on this, you guys. Layers, like that's all I'm going to say. Then we've got the Evolve Life Planner, which by the way, if you are a fan of the bookmark that they send every year this year, you're getting a stencil with it. And I love this because I am forever putting check boxes into my planner and I'm specifically planning to use this compact vertical as a checklist planner, but I can never get my boxes perfect, especially when I'm in a rush. So this is going to be perfect and it comes free like on the Life Planner as a bookmark. I love it. I've also got the metallic markers pack the dual tip highlighters. I've got some new snap-in bookmarks in the Evolve design. We've got some washi tape, a new pen. We also have the brand new folios, which have this beautiful window in the front so that you can actually see your life planner design and carry it with you on the go. And then it's got some pockets in the back. So we'll look over that one. I've got stickers, some various snap-ins here, including this brand new notepad. They have new colors of the snap-in pocket dashboards, more evolved stickers. And for the first time ever, I think this is so brilliant. And this is definitely going to hopefully make some of you wanna buy this on launch. I think this is really gonna be something you won't wanna miss. 
they've got a sampler pack, which means that, you know how when you first order your planner every year and you're like, oh my gosh, it came in in April, but I can't use it till July. Well, this is the solution. They are sending out as a gift with purchase for the first, until supplies run out. So for the first day or two of the launch, these sampler packs, which basically give you different layouts to try for every single week from April 29th all the way up until July 1st. I can't wait to open this and show you all the different things that are inside. So you get a chance to look at the canvas, the bold blooms, the evolve and hourly and compact vertical and horizontal vertical, all the different layouts so that you might be able to try something new and discover something you didn't even know you loved. So that's everything we're going to take a look at today, but we're going to dive into the planner first. I feel like I always cover the planner last, but this year we're going to look at it first so we can say, here's the star of the show. Okay, for those of you looking to order right away on launch day, as always, if you order one of the main life planners, you're going to get this little packet here that has some of the compliment cards and two coupons for 20% off. And let me remind you that if you ordered a life planner last year, those 20% off coupons are still good for this year's launch. Uh, I think they're still good until the beginning of May or the end of April. So if you have some of those old cards that you saved, you can get 20% off the full price of the planner on launch day, you can use that coupon. So don't forget to go look for that if you have it. You will get two more coupons with your life planner launch. Then again, you also get this beautiful new stencil ruler that will also be your bookmark for the year. Let's talk about the coil for a second. So this year, the gorgeous multicolor coil will be gone and instead they've got something they're calling the sunrise coil which as you can imagine has beautiful colors of this more sort of gold yellow orange pink i chose not to get that because i'm not a fan of the color orange i do not like the color orange now it's fine it's beautiful in a design like this but i wasn't sure how i would feel about part of my coil being orange so i'm going to wait and see some reviews and just try that out I loved the multicolor coil from last year, so I'm sad that it won't be around, but I do like that they're playing with new colors, but you will still have the OG platinum coil, which is a silver, gold, or rose gold, in addition to that sunrise coil. If you get anything other than the platinum, it's a $10 upgrade. So then we have this beautiful cover that has the gold accents and the gold foiling. Then on the inside here, we have this beautiful vellum overlay that has the layers design is what I want to call it. Let, let me pull that out. It's not layers. It's Evolve. I know it's different. But if you look at this, this one, the layers design was all in one direction as if you were kind of looking at a slice of the earth on the inside. I loved this design. It was very pretty. And now we have a similar style. I feel like these go so well together, but this just has more variation and more movement rather than it all going in one direction. This is much more, I guess, fluid. And I just really <laughs> I love it, you guys. I'm so in love with it. I feel like I love every Erin Condren launch, but I feel like this is going to be one of my favorites. I love it. So typical, you've got your July 2024 to December 2025. I have the 18 month planner. You've got a little progress each day adds up to big results. Again, doesn't this remind you kind of of the layers design? Like it's not exactly the same, but it is similar and I love it. Then on each month, you have this more concentrated sort of focused color for the month for the Evolve. And each month has its own quote page. So I'll just give you kind of a look at, and I have to say, like, I'm not a huge fan of orange ever in my life, but I do love the way this looks so pretty. Every single month, I feel like I just look at it and think, oh, I love the variations in colors, the little add-ons. It's just, it's art, it's art. Good job, Etta V. I love it. Someday I am, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. I will someday commission a piece of artwork from Etta V to go on my actual walls. <laughs> I wonder if she could do a dragonfly in this kind of design for me. Or cherries. Oh my gosh, I need Etta V cherries. This is what I need in my life. These are all so beautiful. I love it. And if you look and see, it's not even an exact like a lot of times the July and July will be the same, but the July 2024 is slightly different orientation from the July 2025. So you do get that variation in there each month. So it's very, 
very beautiful. So let's go into some of the changes this year to the actual life planners. One of the biggest ones I'm going to flip to the back here to show you is that you get to now put in some add on pages, which means 40 extra pages in the back of your planner. And this is true for the 12 month and the 18 month. It's $10, I believe, to do an add on. I did print it out so I didn't mess it up. The add ons that you can choose are lined notes. That's what I got because I figured that's what I'm going to use the most. So line notes, productivity layout, which will be lined notes, but with a checklist on the side, meal planning and goal setting. So you get 40 pages and there's going to be a tab. So if you do goal setting, it'll say goals here. If you do meals, meal planning, it'll say meals, something like that. I got the lined pages and then look at this beautiful backing page. And as always, we get our stickers in the back that are themed to whatever main design you chose for your life planner. And then we've got the flags and look at it. like, I know, I know I get ridiculously excited, but look how gorgeous this is. I love it. You also get the perpetual calendar that we always get in the back. Stunning, absolutely beautiful. So that is a look at the life planner, but let's look at the compact vertical and let's look at the actual months. So again, this year with the Evolve design, the same as last year's main uh, colorful design, the design on the months does go into the coil, meaning that you've got the design goes all the way through. So if you're someone who likes to use stickers to cover up your months, that is probably one of the biggest complaints. So last year, what I actually did, partially because I had some like free ones and points to use, I don't know that I would pay for multiple planners just to be able to do this, but I might. I wanted this colorful tab page, but I hated that the design goes into the coil. So what I did was I actually glued the canvas one on top of the colorful month so that I could have the monthly tab, but then have the neutral monthly. So maybe someday we'll get an option to have a colorful tab and then a neutral design. This actually isn't terribly not neutral. Like it is, if you just took that top part out, it's still pretty neutral. I just wish that they would stop the design before you get to the coil so that you could cover it if you want to. So it's a very small complaint in the grand scheme of life, but it is something that I, it's the only thing I wish I could change, but look at what they are changing. So I'm just going to pull up an example from this year. This is the canvas design from this year, but Typically what they've been doing is putting this dashboard page on the opposite page. So on the back of the monthly, you have a lined page and here they're flip flopping that. So now you've got the dashboard on the back of the monthly instead of the lined page. And I actually really, really love this because sometimes I like to do Franken planner stuff. I mean, I do it a lot, which means I take my coils and I uncoil things and I put them back together in my own little Frankenstein version of a planner. And I always hate that I have to cover this page or that I can't use this lined paper because it's got a dashboard on it. So I like that they're putting this on the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side. I also really like this subtle design on here. It's very pretty and it's it's pretty minimal, but it's still really beautiful and saturated. So that is very pretty. And then once we get into, I'm going to turn to a page that has like full color. Once we get into the compact vertical, this is basically the same design that you would have found in an A5 compact vertical, but now we've got it in the bigger size, which I really like. I used this layout quite a bit in my A5 agenda when I was using ring planning. And I loved it because it's perfect for checklists. It's perfect for journaling, memory keeping. You could use this more as a notebook rather than just a planner. And if you are a checklist person, you could really get a lot out of this. So I thought it would be kind of fun to pull up some stickers that I have. So these are like Moxie Life EC Horizontal version of some stickers from Planner Kate. And I'm just gonna flip kind of to the back of the planner. We're just gonna use one of these compact vertical December pages. Okay, just a little bit of a sneak peek for those of you that haven't used the compact vertical design before. I just did a little bit of a random mock-up. This isn't the most perfect or complete example, but it might give you some inspiration. 
I just went ahead and used that very last week of the 2025-26 planner because I know by now I'll have the first week of January in a brand new planner. So it's a good one to practice on. So I just put some washi tape here at the bottom, which kind of covered up this mini calendar, which honestly, I'll probably always cover that up with stickers or some other kind of <laughs> random thing just because I don't like it. But you'll be able to use checklist stickers. You can use the stencils to put in some extra checklists here. So if you love checklists, you could even take your ruler or one of the bookmarks and ruler down the side here and turn this into two sections where you have a bunch of room for checklist items. You can also split it down the middle with washi tape or stickers or anything like that and do a little bit of journaling or a little note about something you wanna get done. And then you could do some time tracking here or you could do checklists on one side. You can use stickers to call out specific things you don't wanna forget. You'll be able to use highlighters and other things. So I feel like this is one of the more flexible layouts just because you have the lines there, but it's because it's this vertical instead of the horizontal, you kind of have a bigger chunk per day this way rather than just the journaling that you might be able to do with the horizontal. And I feel like this is so crazy versatile and I really love the look of this. And so hopefully this gives you a few ideas of what you might be able to do with the compact vertical. So that is the brand new Evolve design with the new compact vertical in the seven by nine size. And again, the biggest changes that you'll see are the sunrise coil is gonna be available. Then you have this monthly overview is on the left page instead of the right page. The Daily Duo too, if you're a Daily Duo user, is getting some upgrades as well. Now there's going to be more notes pages. So after Sunday every week, there's going to be notes pages. They're also adding in a weekly overview page, which I'm actually really excited to see what that weekly overview looks like. And they're taking away the many months on the daily page. So this little month in view calendar is gone from the daily page. So lots of exciting things happening with the Daily Duo if you're a Daily Duo user. And I think that's some of the biggest changes other than the fact that you, you're getting the stencil now and you can add in these extra pages. So let me know in the comments what you think of all of these awesome changes, the new layout, which layout you're gonna order for yourself. And let's take a look at so many of these accessories that they sent. So the first one is this clear planner folio. So you've got, I'm gonna try to see. Oh, it does actually kind of fit. So you have, the same kind of vibe of their previous planner folios, but you have the clear window in the front so that you can show off the beautiful design of your planner cover. So this is going to come in three different colors. I have the wisteria color, but there's also going to be a fuchsia color, which is more of this sort of bright pink. It, in the pictures, it almost looks red because it's so dark. And I think it's going to be really pretty with this evolved design in particular. And then you've also got one called peacock, which I'm thinking is probably sort of a bluish green color. So in the back, you have a slot to just slide your planner in. You've got a pocket here, which you could put something like this, or you could put your stickers. Let me see if I can find them real quick. So we have these designer sticker books. So you could fit that back here pretty easily. Gosh, it's so pretty with the purple. I love it. Then you also have another slot here. So if you had something like these sticker packs or something, you could slide those in the back and it fits it all pretty nicely. You have an elastic pin loop here, but no pockets in the front because you're gonna really show off your gorgeous design. So it does have two snaps to accommodate thicker kinds of planners. Look how pretty that is. I really, really love it. So you can kind of push it a little bit and get it to snap. So this, I have the 18 month with add-on pages and that fits just fine in here, but probably if I put more in the back, like an extra sheets or anything like that, it wouldn't fit as well, but this is gonna fit pretty nicely, I think. And what I do like about this is it still shows me the front cover, which doesn't hide the design or whatever I'm using as my main cover, but it does protect the planner pretty well if you're throwing it into your bag. So if you're somebody who travels with your planner a lot and you throw it into your bag quite a bit, I think this will be something you'll be really happy with. So I do like it. I would say sometimes though, like this is the way I feel about most of these types of covers is, is it going to ever lay flat? Now, maybe if you have it open, 
that is going to lay flat and it'll be fine. But if you're towards the beginning of the use of your planner, it's not going to lay super flat at first, just because this bump here is going to kind of be upraised a little bit. See that? But once you're deeper into your planner, it's going to be heavy enough to hold it down. And probably over time, it will get its own use like that. So I don't think that will really bother me a lot. I do tend to sometimes get bothered by the flaps or the straps here. So what I do is just poke those behind. But I think overall, this is a really nice planner cover that shows off the main design of your planner pretty nicely. So that is one of the brand new things that we have to look forward to. Again, we do have sticker pack. So this Evolve sticker pack is once you buy these, which is usually pretty inexpensive, it's just refill stickers of what they put in your planner. It's going to be the same designs just put into a non-coiled version so that you have extras of those. And the only, you know, the, I don't have a lot of complaints about Erin Condren stuff, but I will say the only complaint that I have about that is I would like more of these kind of stickers and I don't need more of these birthday stickers. Like I don't celebrate 20 birthdays a year. There's just no way. I don't have that many people that I celebrate. Maybe some of you do, but I kind of wish in the extra sticker pack, they just gave us either more of these page flags or more of these more functional stickers and not the birthday ones. I almost never use them. I have like four people whose birthdays I need to mark on my calendar. And so I just, these, a lot of these pages just get unused entirely, but it's a small complaint, right? It's like not that important. So that's that. Let's take a look at this sticker book. So this is the Evolve sticker book and it has that same design that we've seen in the past couple of years that flips up instead of sideways, which is nice. And I'll just flip through these. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty. <laughs> what are those? What's the shape of these stickers? Let's take a look. Okay, so this is like a little semicircle. Oh my gosh, I love that gold foiling. That is very pretty. Then we've got a silver page, rose gold. It's very similar design to previous years, but just with the Evolve Hero design that we have here. Vacation. So here's a look at all those different stickers. I love the habit trackers. I could use a whole page of habit trackers would be nice. Oh, these are pretty. It's like you can't quite see. So these are just washi tape stickers that just have the designs kiss, kiss cut. So very pretty stickers there in the Evolve sticker book. And I do like this design of book and just the way that they have that hero design like all across the front. Another place where you're going to see that design come to life is in their pens. So I can't remember last year if this is a ballpoint pen or not, but I replaced the pen inside of it anyway. And this has been one of my favorite pens. So this looks to be exactly the same as last year's design where it's just a little bit sort of leatherette feeling to it. And then you've got I don't know if this is a ballpoint or gel pen. It seems like it's a gel pen, but I brought my Pilot Precise B5 refills in here just because I'm pretty sure it's going to fit again. I was pretty sure it would last year and it did, and I have been using it that way. So this is the Pilot Precise V5 RT gel pens. These are my favorite pens in existence. I love them and I get excited when any pen can be refilled with the Pilot Precise pens. And last year, this pen could be replaced. So again, this year, we have it replaceable with the Pilot Precise. So if you love this pen and you don't necessarily love this larger point on it, you can get a precise needle point to replace and refill. So this is going to become probably my go-to favorite pen in the universe. <laughs> I love it. Plus it's got so much of this pretty purple on it that I feel like I'm going to love that. So we do have, speaking of pens, a couple other new pens here. So we've got the metallic markers and we have the, these dual tip highlighters. So let's take a look at these pens and just kind of swatch them out real quick. Okay, I can tell you right now that this is a game changer for me that they've added all these notes pages if you wanna add them in the back because just opening this up and having all those note pages back there to be able to swatch pens and write things out, 
already just brought me joy and I know I'm going to love it. So these are dual tips. So you have a chisel tip there and probably a bullet tip here. So I'm just going to swatch these out really quickly. Okay, I like these colors for sure. So this is the Evolve six pack and they will have dual tip highlighters specifically to match each of the designs. So there will be a pack that specifically matches bold blooms and a pack that's for the canvas planners. And if you're curious to see how that looks on the other side here, you can see there's maybe just like, I don't know if camera will pick that up. Maybe when you pull like this, there's maybe just a tiniest bit of ghosting, but there's not any color showing through on the other side. So the other thing I wanted to check was, let's see if I wrote, if this can be highlighted over pretty good. I don't see any real bleed on that and it's not bleeding through. So I think these are probably going to be pretty good and they're pretty nice to write over the top of as well. The only thing I would say is I'm probably going to want to get all the different colors because this to me is not a complete color set. Like it matches the design, but I would want a darker purple in here and maybe a, I don't know, but I don't really have complaints about it, but I just think I'll probably end up buying all of the dual tip markers, not just the evolved design. Then we also have these um, metallic markers. These are not dual tip, but they are metallic. So these probably look nice as well on black paper. Okay, so here's those colors. And then when we look on the other side, again, this is why I love Erin Godred. There's just no bleed through there and no ghosting even though these are juicy markers. Uh, I haven't tried these on black paper, but usually metallic markers are gonna look pretty good on dark paper. So if you wanna know about that, send me a message and I will test them for you. Another accessory is the snap-in bookmarks. I think I have a thousand of these. <laughs> Not this design, but like every time they come out with a new design, I wanna have them. Uh, because they're just so pretty. This is going to be my favorite one because it has so much purple. So these just functionally act as a bookmark so that you don't lose your place. And I use them all the time. I will put, I'll have five in here at once so that I can have one where my month is, one where my, my week is, one where my notes are and different things like that. So I am a big fan of the snap-in bookmarks and these are only usually like three or four dollars. So here's the three colorful pretty ones that you get. I love all of these. I think they're all really, really pretty with the Evolve design. Then we have the Ultimate Planny Pack. So call me crazy, but I always save these backing sheets when they put the design on the backing sheets because this is so pretty. Like this is artwork. This is Etta V artwork for free as a backing page. And I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I use this. You can put this at the bottom of a drawer or definitely reuse this if you get a chance. But here's the planning pack itself. This has... For the Evolve design, it has a gold zipper. You've got the pouch in the front. So if you wanted to put your colorful highlighters, let's throw those in here real quick. Yeah, those colors are super nice and complimentary. Then on the inside, you have a couple of different pouches here. So you could put more pins, like you could put these metallic pins in here. You could also throw some sticky notes or something in this bottom pouch or like some white out sheets. You could throw some of your washi tape in here. And then once you have that all packed up, you've got this gold. So it just slides right on the top and that just looks so beautiful with your planner. Now, obviously it's not gonna fit with this cover on top as well, but you kind of choose which one you like better. But I do think this is really, really complimentary and it's really pretty. This would probably also look great with the canvas design, uh, to be honest. So that is another pretty accessory. We also do have some washi tape. There is going to be a different washi tape design that will go with each of the different planners or the basic design. So you've got bold blooms, you've got evolve and you have I believe a canvas one as well so here's just the more 
light colored smaller washi tape. Also, by the way, I've been gearing up to go to go wild. So if you're going to be there, leave a comment down below and definitely try to come say hello to me. I always feel a little bit nervous going to conferences that I haven't been to before because I'm always like, am I going to fit in? Am I going to meet people? So if you are going to be there, let me know. Okay. I love that. This is more of that peacock color. It's so pretty. And then we've got the final one here is like a purple grid design but I have been putting together my table mate gifts and trying to get myself ready to go for go wild coming up and I cannot wait so look how pretty those washi tapes are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I'm sure they'll have multiple different designs for the different main planner designs out there so more accessories that go with the actual planner so this is a new item as well that I think is going to be a real win, which is, let's see what they're calling it, notepad pocket dashboard. So last year for the first time, they released these snap-in pocket dashboards and they sold out so fast because they're so cool. Now they do bulk up your planner quite a bit. So I think sometimes if you're using a lot of stickers, it's hard to use all three of these, but they were just plain clear last year. And this year they've got some colorful ones. So you've got some to choose from, which I feel like would look really good with the bold blooms design. And then you also have a notepad one. So this also has the same sort of design with the snap in and it has a pocket on the back that you can use. But look at this, it has this very cool to do notepad that has these pretty lines on it that again, sort of matches so well with the Evolve, but really any of their designs would look good with it. So let's see what happens if we put this inside the main planner. I have a feeling this is gonna be something that would be better sort of at the end of your planner, but let's see. Okay, so if you put it in the middle of the planner, that's what's gonna to happen to your planner. I mean, I've, I felt like that probably wasn't gonna be perfect. So to me, if you're gonna use this, it's probably gonna be better at the very back of your planner or the very front of your planner. So let's try that instead. So here it is in the back when you close it up. It's still, it still sticks out a little bit much for my tastes. So cool idea, but this planner is an 18 month planner with the add on pages. And I feel like that's not probably going to fly. Now they do sell elastic bands to help keep your planner closed when you're not using it. But I feel like what I would probably do is pull half these pages out because it's too full to fit really greatly in the planner. Now, the other thing that you could do is you could just put it at the very front of your planner. So it would be covering your cover, but that would be probably more usable than having it inside the middle of your planner. I don't know, your mileage may vary. <laughs> but here you have an option of putting in these colorful dashboards that have the tabs at the top. So it adds a little bit of color to your planner and it also allows you to section it out. And these work great inside the planner, but also really well inside notebooks or the monthly planner because it is a way to section out the notebooks. So highly recommend this as a product. I think these snap-in sticky notes have been a product that I have used from them for a decade. It feels like they've been around for a very long time. So they go well at the beginning of your planner, but these, because they're, they don't have as much of a footprint as that notepad can really be put anywhere in the middle of your planner. So I like to move it a lot of times just to the beginning of the month, which forms two has two purposes. So one is that it allows me to see the color of the sticky notes along with the month, which is just pleasing to the eye, but also it allows me to turn very quickly from the top to whatever month I'm on right now, because a lot of times I prefer to turn from the top because there's less tabs up at the top than to find it on the side. So that allows me just a quick turn with these sticky note tabs. So a lot of times these side ones fit really well in the monthly side tabs like this. So again, that is still the case. And you've got all these other pretty ones. I like this sort of pointed one. It's nice. This is also really pretty. So these would fit kind of any direction there. 
if you wanted to draw attention to something here. So nice way without using stickers to be able to write on your sticky note tabs. And then another snap-in thing, this might be the final one, is this Priorities one. And I feel like this is pretty much the same design that they had last year, just with the Evolve. It's like the same functionality that it's been for a while, just with the Evolve design. So you've got Priorities to do with round checklists, and then you've got Monday through Sunday on the back. And that can, again, serve as a bookmark at the top. And it can also be something with your wet erase markers you write on. So Evolve Design on that as well. A couple more things that we have to look at that they sent me, and then we'll open up this Life Planner Sampler Pack. Okay, so the first here, you can't really see this too well because they're using such a light color on top of a light color, but it says monthly planner, July 2024 to December 2025, and it's beautiful. So it looks to be just their typical monthly planner, petite planner, that you have an overview of the year and a half in the front, and then you've got the small calendar here in the monthlies all the way through. And then once you get through the monthlies, it's just lined pages, just like last year's. And then you do have some stickers in the back with a pocket. Let me know in the comments if you like the petite planners. I have a lot of them and I keep wanting to use them, but then I haven't used them as much as I had hoped. But gosh, this one is pretty. And it has that sort of composition notebook style with the navy blue band on the back or on the spine. And this is more of a productivity style design. So you've got lines with some checklists at the bottom, lines with some checklists on the side and some colorful boxes. So this is a pretty cool design that I think is a neat layout as well. Those are the main accessories that go along with the Evolve design this year. Let me know what you think. And let's go over this Life Planner Sampler Pack. This will be available for the first time ever. Again, it's weekly spread starting the week of April 29th, which basically starts May, right? And it's a little booklet. I think this is so brilliant. So you can try out all the different designs. This will come free, this little sampler pack that gives you a chance to plan on different styles through the beginning of July, which is when your new planner will start. So that will come free while supplies last. If you are an EC Insider, which by the way is the rewards program where you can earn points to get free stuff and it's totally free to join. So I will leave a link for you. I would highly recommend if you're not an EC Insider to just go ahead and join from that link below. Get yourself signed up so that you can shop Monday, April 15th, which is when this comes out. If you are an EC Insider, you will also get free sticky notes with a holder as part of your freebies on launch day. So you don't want to miss that for sure. Plus, EC Insiders get early access to everything and it's free to join. So you might as well just join and get points. So we've got the Evolve Vertical. So this is the colorful vertical. Then we have the Bold Blooms Horizontal. So there you can get a look at the fonts and colors that will go with that. Then we have the canvas, which is the neutral. Oh, look, it has like little habit trackers over here. So this is the hourly design. I love that little habit tracker down there. That is really cool. Then we've got the Evolve Compact Vertical, which is what I was just showing you. And let's see, what is this? This is the Evolve Daily. Duo. Oh, okay. Look, this is going to be a look at the weekly overview page that you're going to get. So with the new daily duo, you're going to get this weekly overview page where you can say, what are your meals for Monday, Tuesday? What are your main like to do's for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? I have to say, like, if you've ever used my HB90 planner, you know that we have a weekly task dashboard and overview and a week on two pages in addition to the daily pages, because I always need a weekly overview. So this is gonna make the Daily Duo a lot more attractive to me. So you've got this sort of weekly checklist overview, and then you've got the daily page, and this entire box is free without the mini calendar. Whew, I think I'm gonna to have to order a Daily Duo this year. It looks so good, I love it. So it gives you the entire week in the Daily Duo. This is so cool. So if you've never gotten a chance to try it, order on day one launch, because this gives you a free opportunity to try it. How pretty is this Bold Blooms, you guys? This is the weekly or monthly overview of the Bold Blooms. Gives you a chance of, to see those colors, this color scheme. 
Then you've got the Bold Blooms vertical color scheme. So if you are not a fan of these bright colors and you like more muted colors or earthy tones, you're gonna love that Bold Blooms design. It's so, it's so lovely. Then you've got the Canvas Horizontal page here for June. And we have the Evolve Hourly. Again, still has the trackers down here at the bottom. I wish I had a use for all of these planners. <laughs> I would just have one of each, honestly. So here's a look at the Bold Blooms font that comes with the compact vertical. And it's so nice. But I have to say, like, I get that this is a weekly spread and not a daily spread, but like, if you're gonna take the mini calendar off the Daily Duo, don't put it on the new design. <laughs> oh, oh well, I'm, I'm not gonna complain. I love all their designs. I love everything that they sent to me. So thank you again to Samantha and Tori. I cannot wait to see everybody. If you are an EC affiliate, please let me know um, so we can say hi to each other before we meet next week at the dinner for the launch and the go wild and everything else. So this is the full look at the Evolve collection from Etta V and the Erin Condren team. What do you think? I love it. I, As always, the second I get the new stuff, I just want to start using it immediately. So I'm super, super thrilled with this sneak peek of a Life Planner sampler pack that will allow us all to kind of play around with different layouts and different things while we're waiting to be able to use our brand new planners. So fun. I absolutely love it. Definitely let me know if you're going to order something on launch day. These again will be released April 15th. I believe it will be open to EC Insiders first. So get on that list so that you can get access to all the coolest stuff and make sure to get all of the freebies as soon as it launches. Don't forget to use your coupon from last year if you can. And if you are so inclined and you love this channel, come back to use my affiliate code with your links. I will be updating with my affiliate links down below as the products become available on the website. So I would love it if you remember to come back here next Monday when you start shopping and use my affiliate link so that I will also get credit and so the ET EC team will know that you found their products through me. That would be so awesome. I hope you loved this really long in detail video of the new Life Planner launch. Thanks again for being here. Hit subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody.